Yo, what is up? This Aqua Funk. How you doing, all you King Kongs of aquariums out there? We're gonna be talking about today a very popular fish, but it's also a fish that, if done incorrectly, could be a big fat waste of money. We're gonna be talking about the electric blue car. Man, I'm over here doing the editing. I just realized I said a car, but y'all know I meant Ram. There's a picture of the Ram in the in the right there. Like 14 seconds in, there's a picture of Ram. Y'all know I ain't I ain't redoing it. It is what it is. I said I meant Ram. This fish you can find at almost every pet store, and, and, and they could get kind of pricey. Um, and because you can find them at Petco and PetSmart, some of the bigger um you know box stores out there you might you might be tricked in believe in believing that that this fish is um right up there next to tiger barbs and tetras and stuff like that when 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 in fact they're not but they're beautiful and you want them in your tank so i'm gonna tell you my experiences with them and how they might not be the best fish for your tank it might be i don't know you be the judge after watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think. If you've kept this fish before, but before we go any further, please don't forget to hit subscribe, the like, the notification, um, so that you can be notified whenever um, I put out a new video, which lately hasn't been that often. It's been very sporadic. My work schedule is hectic. 72 hours in one week, baby. What? What? No, that's not cool. I, I'm saying it like it's cool. It's not cool. I, I want to quit. <laughs> but yeah, that thumbs up is a big deal because it lets the algorithm and the YouTube gods know that my video is worth watching and it will go ahead and send it out to other people who might be interested in this subject right here. A lot of times you'll see this fish um, at the big box stores and, and, and a lot of times th there'll be some of the prices I've seen a, a little bit outrageous of um, $25, $20 I, and I don't really know why and I think it's just because of the demand for the little blue fish that everybody wants so much. Let's get a couple particulars out of the way. They are cichlid but they are one of the more tamer, docile, chill cichlids you can get they only grow to about two and a half inches long so putting them in a community tank is a-okay but if you're new in the game or you don't have a lot of experiences with uh delicate fish this may not be the one for you i know you want it everybody wants it there is nobody out there who's like i don't like that fish that, that's a stupid fish. no there are stupid fish in the hobby i'm gonna let you know right now some people will make you think that every fish in the hobby is the greatest thing and da, da, da. it's not true some fish is just not right some fish you just should not get and for the most part this fish is along those lines unless you go into it eyes open my experience and i've kept this fish before i've kept the I, i've kept the, the the little electric blue rams i've kept the gold rams i've kept the um german blue rams and and the electric blue ram while is not what did i say is it german blue ram the electric blue ram while it's not as delicate as the original german blue ram it's right along the lines as as the gold ram um, because of its price tag, that's where the problem lies. I've noticed, this is just me talking. Somebody might have a different viewpoint, but I almost guarantee you that if they had a different viewpoint, that's because they're an experienced um, fish keeper. But I'm talking about people who are, are just now thinking about it. You. I've personally noticed that the electric blue ram really really thrives in a planted aquarium with very stable water so meaning the water really needs to be um aged they don't they, i don't think they take they don't take swings in ph and temperature too well i i think that a brand new aquarium is the worst thing you can do to take um in an electric blue ram um the temperature needs to be stable. I, I, I would personally keep it around 80 degrees. And it's because of that, because of the plants, 
the stable pH conditions, which to be honest with you, I don't think they're as sensitive to living in a specific pH. I think they're more sensitive to pH swings. So if you have a pH out of your tap that is you know 7.5 7.0 6.5 I, I think you're gonna do fine which is most people's cases but if you have a high ph maybe not so much what you don't want to do is get buffers which a lot of people try and do to to um regulate the ph the problem lies in when you use buffers the time in between water changes everything fluctuates so drastically and I, I don't really suggest that now i don't suggest this for any fish to be honest with you let's be real some fish you can afford to take chances on at 25 dollars a piece you really can't with these guys unless you got it like that and if you got it like that kudos let me let me hold some let me hold some that's all i can say but i don't have it like that a lot of people don't have it like that so when you think about the electric ram, think about your aquarium. If it's a new aquarium, older, less than six months old, I say no. If you don't have driftwood in the aquarium, I say no. If you have your temperature down in like 75, I say no. If you don't have it where it's got a lot of live plants in it, I say no. Other than that, go for it. <laughs> um, which doesn't leave a lot of you guys in the running for this fish right now um and, and i i hate to be the one to break it to you but that's just the facts a lot of people will be like the electric blue ram is the greatest fish ever. it is a cool fish but you got to know what you're doing before you get into it you know what i'm saying i'm the one that normally says all fish can live just about anything you just gotta work with in this particular case because of the money issue alone i would say go ahead get a little time under your belt Get your tank right, then go ahead and dip your feet into some uh, electric blue rams. Um, I think a lot of reasons why beginners quit the hobby is because they're tired of throwing money out the window. It's because people are making the wrong choices at the wrong time. But that's just that's just from me. That's just from me. If you got a different opinion, put it in the comments. Let me know. Tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. Tell me I am full of. Dummy! <laughs>